Got our local forecast here. We had a great day of sunshine, but there's changes on the way. Lisa and Aaron are both here tonight to tell us what to expect and when that big system behind you, Lisa, is on its way. <laughs> I wanted to start out with this because I knew Lisa had that and I wanted to give everybody this really pretty shot that we got from Kent uh, in, the, uh, in the Kent area from Chris of the sunset really pretty close as we go through the overnight hours. We're at 48 degrees. The winds are out of the east at 11 miles an hour. It's pretty calm out there for the most part. We saw a gorgeous day. Temperatures are backing off to where we were. We're cooler to the north right now. Arlington, you're at 40 through the islands, low 40s to mid 40s, 37 for Port Angeles in Shelton, you're still hanging on at 46 degrees. So average is 48 degrees. Today we were at 56 for the Seattle area. So here's a look at where we're going through the end of February. You could see 52 is the high. So we did that plus some today. So it was really nice winter sunshine that was out there. We had that warmth and it felt great. We're watching the cloud cover increase tonight. Not so much of any rain coming through tonight. Maybe early into the early morning commute as we roll through. We see just right around as uh, five o'clock in the morning, a quick few blips of showers coming through. But then, as we've talked about, that atmospheric river sets up by midnight tomorrow night. Everyone's sloppy and wet. This is our breezy, gusty day on Thursday. And again, as we get through Friday, it just doesn't stop and with so much moisture out there. We're going to keep an eye on the flood warnings and the hydrologic outlook. And we're watching Puget Sound, all those areas. The Olympic Peninsula, heavy rains, Lisa, with this atmospheric river are really going to bring some concerns for our area rivers. Absolutely. I mean, it's already so saturated out there, Aaron. I mean, if you were out and about this weekend, you definitely felt all that rain. Well, like Aaron was mentioning, that atmospheric river heading towards our area beginning Wednesday night. So we've got this strong low pressure system offshore, and that is going to give us some counterclockwise rotation. So on the outskirts of this low, we're going to see this plume of moisture just heading straight for us for the Pacific Northwest. So as we fast forward here, it begins Wednesday night, and like Aaron was talking about, just continue continuing widespread rain from Washington, stretching through Oregon, down across portions of California. And this is going to continue through Friday. So it is going to be very wet to end the work week here, adding to those rain totals as well. We've got the cloud cover in place and temperatures, luckily, aren't going to be fluctuating too, too much, which will be great. Now, as we take a look at some of that precipitation, fast forwarding here through Friday evening, we're talking about along the coast, the potential around two to four inches of accumulation. That's significant. And then one to three up across the Cascades through the lowlands. That's going to range from about a half an inch up across the North Sound up to about two inches of accumulation for those in the Hood Canal. So again, just depending on where you are, but it's going to be some significant rain. Just a matter of a couple of days, which is pretty much what we saw over the last three, which was significant, especially yesterday with those heavy downpours. As we take a look at the seven-day forecast tonight, 41 degrees. Tomorrow, 53 for that high. Wind speeds are going to kick up. Expect gusts up to around 25 to 30 miles an hour for those in the foothills along the coast as well. And then we'll have those temperatures remaining pretty comfortable throughout the seven-day forecast.